Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host, JP Mestanza, and it's Monday, August 26th. We got a lot to get to, so let's get started. Police are asking doctors to reconfirm the cause of death of a man who was reportedly hitting people in front of a super cheap store near the Prince of Songkla University Phuket campus in Katu on Friday evening. At about 6.30 p.m. on Friday, police were notified that 31-year-old Sumeti Trirat was hitting people in front of the entrance to the convenience store near the side entrance to the PSU campus on Muang Chalfa Road. When police arrived, locals had already restrained him. Sumeti was taken to Dibuk Hospital, where doctors would later say he went into shock and had become unconscious. The cause of death that they gave was asphyxiation. From questioning relatives, police learned that Sumati had been arrested on drug charges several times before and was also suffering from mental illness. And now police are saying that he did not take his medication. Doctors are being asked to reconfirm the cause of death. After the death of insurgent suspect Abdullah Esomuso, over the weekend, Deputy Premier Prawit Wangsuwan is denying that the government or the authorities had any involvement. Abdullah died early on Sunday morning at about 4 a.m. of severe pneumonia and septic shock, according to a statement from Songkla Nagarin Hospital. The 32-year-old had been taken into military custody in the southern province of Patani back on July 20th, implicated in insurgent activities, and he was brought to a military camp for questioning, but hours later he was found unconscious. There have yet to be reports or findings of what exactly happened to make him unconscious at the interrogation center, and doctors said he had been in a coma but in stable condition until Friday night when they diagnosed him with inflammation of the lungs and then dangerously low blood pressure. While the 4th Army Region Command have launched investigations to find what happened back at the interrogation center, they have yet to conclude those probes. And earlier today, thousands of Thai Muslims in Abdullah's home district of Saiburi in Patani province attended his funeral with relatives vowing to demand justice for his post-interrogation death. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A German cyclist sustained serious leg injuries when a young bull elephant charged at him on a local road near an elephant village in Pattaya Beach Town on Saturday morning. Rescue workers rushing to the scene found the 69-year-old German man lying near the road along a sparse forest. He was sent to a local hospital. A witness told police that the German man was a frequent bike rider of that route when the 38-year-old elephant showed up close to him on Saturday and charged at him. Its tusk tore into his left leg, causing serious wounds. The elephant had just run away from its mahout. The animal was subdued with tranquilizer darts and veterinarians are now checking to see what drove the animal to attack the man. Puget X, will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Marine Police and Gusodom Foundation rescue workers on Friday found and recovered the body of a 53-year-old local resident who disappeared while fishing for shrimp off Baklok late on Thursday night. The body of Udom Homrokla was recovered about 500 meters from the Tasak Pier in Baklok. Udom's wife told police that her husband disappeared in the water at about 8 p.m. while fishing for shrimp with his friend. Udom's body was taken to Dalang Hospital for further examination to determine if any foul play should be suspected, according to police. Rescue workers were called to a residential area by a golf course in Katu last Thursday to trap and remove three Indian monitor lizards. The monitor lizards were carefully caught by Kusodom Phuket Foundation workers from houses and gardens in the area and they've already been released into the jungle near Bangpe Waterfall in Talan. Monitor lizards are known for their lockjaw bite and acidic saliva and rescue workers are urging any Phuket residents who encounter them to keep their distance and call the Kusodom Phuket Foundation at 1669 or 199. 
And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Thank you.